I'm Kate McCarthy. I'm Kate McLennan. We're living beyond our means. Welcome to the catering show. Do you need some of this? Always. Everybody knows that McCartney is the worst. She can't eat gluten, fructose, polyols, fructans, these things, this thing, probably this fucking thing. You're all right, mate. Oh, you know, I can't eat that. And she can't eat my favourite food, cheese. So, you know, what's the fucking point? For me and for her. I actually don't miss it that much. Because just like a car accident, cheese brings people together. McCartney's food intolerances mean she'll never join me and the girls on a Friday night for some champers and a cheese board to watch Sex and the City and discuss the burning us gals feel when I urinate. Shunned from society, gut-impaired people like McCartney miss out on so much because it's simply too hard for normal, adorable people like me to accommodate their hysterical needs. Yeah, unless those gut-impaired people aren't neck-deep in assholes, in which case a life without cheese is devoid of only one thing, cheese. McCartney's really made life hard for herself and I'm pretty sure she's not allowed to adopt. But the self-pity stops today, McCartney, because we're here to buy these. McCartney simply needs to take one of these tablets before consuming any dairy every day for the rest of her life and she'll avoid having another Rorschach-style poo explosion in public ever again. That has literally never happened. Now it's time to show McCartney that it gets better. Let's go! Hard. Soft. Age. Sharp. Cheese. From the blue of a French blue to the water buffalo of an Indian paneer. From the dust of an Australian cheesel to the congealed of an Italian pizza box. Cheese is one of those universal foods. Except in the small provinces of all of China. So what is cheese, I hear you ask? Well, let's take a closer look, shall we? Mmm, wow. Great stuff. Today I've assembled this amazing and very expensive homage to fromage <laughs> of my top 40 cheeses of 2016, which I wrote about recently in my monthly cheese letter, Arind the World. <laughs> Did you read it, McCartney? I, I sent it to you. No, you got a junk. Still? Really? I, th I, th I thought you fixed that. No. Well, anyway, McCartney is cured and now she can eat cheese with me, which is very good. Uh. <laughs> she doesn't get it. Gouda is a type of cheese. Now, McCartney, you know I have clinically diagnosed control issues, but today is all about you, my little mate. Today I'm cooking whatever your heart desires, whatever you want, you just name it. Mac and, and cheese. I'll... Parmesan crumble nah. and... So I'm letting McCartney cook for once because it's important to foster her sense of independence, even though her quality of life is so poor. It's not. And she can do so little. She can do everything. She wishes she could be me. So, how long is this going to take? Eight minutes. Do you want to um, take us through what you're doing? No, I'm good. OK. I had actually planned on making a fondue <laughs> using Gruyere and Kirsch. <laughs> Fondue parties are really fun and retro. You can pretend you're in a Swiss chalet with an exchange student with limited English. They're also a great way to get your friends over if you're too frightened to write key party on the invite. You invited me to one of them. I didn't.
That was Bailey's Irish cream. Mmm, al dente, soft teeth. And now for an intimate chat with McCartney in a segment I like to call Kate Five. What? Thanks for joining us, Kate. OK. I want to take you back. The year is 2010. You're 38 years old. I'm 35 now. Are you? How are you younger than me? You look like you got buried in a pet cemetery. Yeah, all right. OK, 2010, the year you stopped eating cheese. What happened? Were you bullied at the local swimming hall? Was it an industrial accident? Is it genetic? Did an ancestor have a moonlit dalliance with a soft-eyed Frisian? Share your horror. I got a stomach bug. Hmm. And is that when you shit your pants? I didn't shit my pants. OK, so that came later. No, it didn't. So you didn't shit your pants on a bus in front of children and nuns. But after that bus trip, you could no longer eat cheese. Tell us about that. I couldn't eat cheese. Hmm. Now we're getting somewhere. And how did you cope with that? I just didn't eat cheese. Hmm. Was that hard for you? No. You're wrong. When I gave up soft cheese when I was pregnant, it was the worst two months of my life. I feel like this whole thing's more about you. You're wrong. McLennan, I mean McCartney. Don't be offended. I'm just asking what everybody wants to know. I'm like an inquisitive child staring at you on that bus. You can't eat cheese. There's no good reason for you to go on. That's not a question. See, I love that. Sense of humour. Even with the odds stacked against her, McCartney shows us just how lucky we are. If she can go on without cheese, then what excuse do you have for not going to CrossFit, fatty? Have you been drinking? Of Kush. I mean, I've had a little Kush. Sign up to my introductory cheese letter. Hello from me to you. <laughs> if you don't, I'll be very angry, yeah. <laughs> Well, that was a great episode, and it taught us a valuable lesson about tolerance. Of course, I would have loved to have made something a little more involved, but at the end of the day, she can't tell the difference. Yeah. In other news, I'm pretty sure McLennan's Fontanelle never closed up. It did, actually, eventually. On the plus side, it has left us with all of this cheese for tonight's Friday Night Girl Squad. And thanks to these tablets, McCartney is finally going to be one of the gals. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week for another tasty episode of The Catering Show. I can't come tonight. What, you're busy? Oh, it's like you're asking me to lie to you. So, ladies, it turns out it wasn't a urinary tract infection from too much sex, but a bacterial growth in my uterus. I know, it totally explains the smell. Oh, McCartney, you're such a Miranda. <laughs> I don't feel my heartbeat.